Hello students, hope you all are fine. Today I thought I'll be making a video regarding the JP movement and emergency. Both the topics are interrelated, but you have not studied these two parts never ever in your school syllabus for your from class 5 to class 12. So I thought if I make a video of these two parts then it will be easier for you to understand. Okay, first I will be starting JP movement and then I will be continuing it towards the emergency. Now, JP was a person's name, we can say it's a nickname that is Jay Prakash Narayan. Since we have already studied the syndicate inside, the, you know, the division and dissatisfaction inside the Congress by centering Indira Gandhi and the Moradji Desai group. We are familiar with the name of Jay Prakash Narayan. People used to call him JP in short. The growing dissatisfaction inside the Congress was very much prominent during the 70s. Many a front-running leader inside Congress started showing the dissatisfaction against Indira Gandhi's rule. Jayaprakas Narayan, Noraji Desai and many other birthdays. The main reason behind this dissatisfaction was a nature of autocracy in the hands of Indira Gandhi which was increasing day by day and corruption and ill administration. Mostly these are the prominent causes. In several states the corruption rose such high level that the protest inside and outside the Congress, that means from the other parties, were going very fast. For example, in Gujarat, the protest raised such an intense level that Congress government had to re resign. In Gujarat, JP called for Nav Nirman movement. From the name only you can understand Nav Nirman, a new making. The situation was going very intensely when in Bihar another protest started taking place. Bihar Chhatra Sanghars Samiti was a student union started protesting against the Congress state government regarding the standard of education, very bad qualities of food and the hostel facilities. In this case, you have to understand that these little issues are being raised up not only by the Congress socialist men like Jay Prakash Narayan, Murad Jilesai, Sujitar Kutlini and all, but by the other opponent parties and their students wing, like the wings of Samajbadi Party Student Union. AISL, that is the All India Student Federation, uh, student wing of the Communist Party and the Bihar Chhatra Sansad Committee. So this way, inside and outside of the Congress, means the socialist wing inside the Congress and the opponent parties were collectively protesting against Indira Gandhi and we may say that against the Congress government. Lalu Prasad Yadav was elected as the president of this student union of Bihar and he requested JP to lead their movement also. JP accepted it and called for Sampur Kranti, that means total revolution. They urged, that means the student union urged to the Bihar legislature to uplift the standard of hostel facilities, foods and education. They boycotted the Kherao, the Bihar Legislative Assembly and in that course they damaged few government properties also. In this situation, the confrontation with police and the union 
caused the death of few students, which led the situation further very bad. Now, GP called for complete approval of Congress government. On the other hand, Indira Gandhi was not accepting that it is very normal thing. Indira Gandhi accused against JP that he is trying to overthrow an elected government which is not democratic. Getting my point? Because both in Gujarat and in Bihar, those two government were elected one. So this way, by protesting, you cannot do anything. This is not a democratic way of uprooting. That means whatever the slogan they have told, Sampoon, Kranti, Now Nirman. That means they, are, they have no more faith on this existing government. So the single way you can have your choice, you can show your, or you can cast your vote is through election. Otherwise it is not a democratic process. Whatever. In this point of time, the Students' Union of Bihar again heralded the Legislative Assembly and this point of time, a massive massacre had taken place. Patna was under complete chaotic situation. Government issued Lati Church, firing and all and in this situation, near about 12 people, most of the cases, their students are, are, you know, are died. In this point of time, JP was traveling throughout the country to get support for his ideology, for his view against Congress. And he urged all these small parties to come together and fought unitedly. And eventually that had taken place when the Janta Party had formed. But Indira Gandhi was not in a mood of leaving everything in the hands of JP just like that. He, he, he dragged the situation in the vote of voting election. But eventually he lost, rather his party lost in Gujarat. And in Allahabad High Court, a case was running against Indira Gandhi, which was long, which was filed by his opponent, who lost the election just previous the year, just the previous year in the Lok Sabha, and Allahabad High Court just that point of time declared that Indira Gandhi had taken, you know, had used the wrong procedure, we can say some malpractices were there during the election, so he, her candidate, candidature will be dissolved, will be cancelled and she should resign now and then. But quite obviously, Indira Gandhi was not in a mood of resigning. He dragged the case into the Supreme Court and Supreme Court on some condition continued her regime, we can say her tenure of five years. But the protest was going very high, very intensely. The, the agitation, the, the demand for uprooting this Congress corrupted government was coming from now many of the parts of India. So this point of time Indira Gandhi launched the emergency. As soon as the emergency was lost, both from inside the Congress and outside the Congress, most of the you know, you know most of the prominent leaders of the Congress Socialist wing like Moraji Desai, Jay Prakash Narayan, the leaders from outside, mostly from Janata Party like Atli, uh, Atli Bihari Bajpai, Lal Krishna Adbani, all were arrested. Various political parties were banned. Any kind of protest, any kind of abusive languages, any kind of mal you know, activities which is going against the Congress government all was either suppressed or banned. Thousands, lakhs of people went behind the bar. This point of time, 
media also aim under severe pressure. If you have the book and the emergency part, you can open it up and you can underline few cases. Like you can see that Indian Express, a leading newspaper at that point of time, the Kissa Kursika, a famous movie of that point of time, Nasbandi, another film, and Anandi, all were banned just for showing Indira Gandhi's autocratic regime or the emergency. They had no other option but to support. Not only that, whimsically, total autocratically, Indira Gandhi amended the rules and regulations, we must say the articles of constitution so that no one can challenge her. These are the main features of emergency. But gradually she realized that this incident of emergency of 77 was no longer a national event. It was drawing attention of entire world politics. Everyone was looking Indira Gandhi from, uh, uh, from the point of view of an uh, autocratic leader. So it was not good for her. Besides that, she realized that she took a risk, I must say, that to, um, to, to make Janta Party in pressure to, to put Janta Party into pressure to make Janta Party in a situation from where they cannot raise up anymore, but it went like a boomerang. He revoked the emergency and called for the election, but eventually she lost it. And for the first time in the history of India, independent India, a non-Congress party came into the government. That's how the emergency ended. Hopefully, this video will help you to understand and clear any kind of confusion regarding JP movement and emergency. Stay safe. Always wear the mask even when you are at home. Converse in English, whether it is with your peers or parents. Read some good newspapers magazines it will increase your not only increase your vocabulary but also it will you know it will be good for your future stay blessed